Okay, hey, it's Mega here. So, uh, I'm doing a tugger strap demonstration video. This will be after, this might be a second, a separate clip, or it, uh, it'll be at the end of the how to make a tugger strap for your uh, serum like this. So, I made a rear tugger strap for it. Um, and uh, just, just, you know, rewind the video or check that video out if you want to know how I made it. Um, it's not too hard. Um, so, the, uh, the Suron is only like 125 pounds, so it's not too heavy. Um, the nice thing about having a tugger strap is you got a nice place to grab the bike. Uh, so usually where I grab the bike is right here, the subframe. And you know to grab the subframe you kind of have to, for me, I'm 5'10", 175 pounds, and I have to like hunch over and you know, that's not good for your back. Um, having the tugger strap helps a lot. Um, and uh, and I'll, I'll, let me go get some gloves. Okay, so I want to do this demonstration with gloves just so, you know, that's, that's what you're going to be, what I'm going to be wearing, you know, when I'm riding the bike most of the time, so I'm kind of I made the, I made the strap loose enough so I can get my hand under the strap. And it doesn't really get in the way that much when you sit on it. I rode with it all day today. Um, so the cool thing about the uh, tugger strap is you got to handle it to move the bike around. So, uh, it would be better if I, if I flip the bike around. So I'm going to show you how to flip your bike around with the tugger strap. Uh, on the on the um, with using the side stand, uh, so that's one. That's one. That's the first trick. That's probably the most advanced one. So I'm gonna start with the most advanced one right off the trick. Uh, uh, you could probably do it without the tugger strap, but it would be harder. Like I said, you're gonna have to hunch over and you're gonna be off balance and stuff. This this it's us. The the grab handle is like on top of the seat, so it makes it a lot better. So basically, you're gonna pull the bike towards you, so to let the to let the weight off of the bike. I guess you're gonna uh, want to grab the strap and like press, kind of make a make a fist and press down on the seat so you can get the front up. And then spin the bike. Bam! There we go. So hopefully the bike doesn't fall over. All right. So uh, I'm gonna do all my demonstrations from this side of the bike because I'm I guess I'm right-handed and I like to push the bike from the left for some for some odd reason. But you could do this. Uh, you know what? Flipping the flipping the bike around, I don't think it's gonna work from the other side. <laughs> I can try it. I can try it, but you're gonna be like pushing forward on it. Yeah, you could do it. The bike is so light; it's it's, it's actually it is, it's actually easier to do it. <laughs> it's, it feels like it's a, easy, easier to do it like this from from the right side. So you could do it. So I just showed it. You could do it on both sides. But one is a pulling motion, and the and the other one is a pushing motion. And like I said, like. For a taller person like me, it, it's it's better, you know, it, it keeps you from hurting your back, like leaning over and stuff, and contorting yourself in weird positions. So, another good thing about the tugger strap is that you can use it to drag the bike around. So, I can, I can easily, pretty easily push the bike forward and backward, and, and, I'm, and I'm not off balance at all. If I'm going like this, you know, I'm reaching over the bike, you know, it makes it kind of hard to, to push the bike, you know, it makes it, it's, it's hard to, it's hard to back it up too, because like, you're, you're kind of like exerting like a twisting force on your body. This, you just, you know, like your, my body is pretty much straight. You're not going to hurt yourself, you know, doing that. Um, you could pick the bike up. It's like I said, it's 125 pounds. It's, it's still a little heavy, but see, it will, it will hold the weight of the bike. Um, uh, yeah, if you, oh, also another thing is if you're like on the trail or something and you need to drag it, or some, some, or you're like in the garage and you're trying to position it a certain way. Um, I'm gonna show you how to nudge it. I'm gonna nudge the back that way. So basically, I'm just gonna pull on, pull up on this, and then use my my thigh to move the bike. See, I'm using my thigh to push on it, but I'm pulling up. I'm I'm pulling up. You can't do that normal. You, you see, if you don't have the strap, you can't do that. But with the strap, you can. So you just kind of lift up and you push up with your knee, with your with your thigh, and it doesn't. And you can do the opposite. The opposite, you can just drag it. Um, 
I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you how to drag it the other direction now. Um, uh, basically, I'm just going to I'm going to grab it here and I'm going to lean back and just drag it. Um, could you could you use the thigh technique uh, with uh, going the other way too? Yeah, could. It's a little more awkward. I feel like the strap is getting looser. I mean, <laughs> I need to tighten it. It is getting looser. I need to tighten it. Um, uh, what else? Yeah, so that's pretty much it. You can drag it forward and back pretty easily. You no, know? not not hurt myself at all. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. And like you know, you can do the bike drag. Um, I guess if you leave the bike over. Well, if you laid the bike over, it would be easier just to pick it up like this. But I, I guess you could just use a strap to pick it up. Or you could have a buddy help you pick it up on the other side if you want it. Um, yeah, so so those are pretty much all the techniques that you can do with the so, yeah. tuggers. All right, so uh, so I'm gonna give, just do another quick demonstration of all the techniques, uh, faster, you know. Uh, so I'm gonna nudge the bike that way. You can't drag it that way because you're going to fall over if you do it. But we can drag it. So, also, we're going to nudge it to, I'm going to nudge it back the other way. So, you can do that too. Or you can drag it. You can drag both wheels too. Um, I don't think you have to be very strong to do this. The bike isn't that heavy. Um, you could, like, if you weighed more than 125 pounds, you should probably be able to do all these techniques pretty easily. I'm going to drag it forward. Drag it back, um, and then I'm going to spin it on the on the side. Side. you're super strong. <laughs> if you're strong enough to lift 100 something pounds, then you could probably do it. Um, you could probably, you can rest it on your thigh too and try to lift it up. Okay. That works. So you, you just got to use your whole body, you know, not the thing. You're, you only weigh, I only weigh 175 pounds, so you can, um, it's pretty easy to do this stuff like if you use your whole body, <laughs> is what I'm saying. And, uh, yeah, so that's those are the, the rear tugger strap techniques. Um, one thing I really like about this is if you're loading it onto a trailer or something, it makes it easier to load onto a trailer. I really like it. Uh, one thing I want to do is uh, we're going to make a little handle for this, a little grip out of an electrical tape. I'm just going to wrap it up. All right, so that is, uh, that are the, those are the rear uh, tugger strap techniques with the Soron light. Uh, you know, it, with the Suron Light B in specific, I did it. I did a video for my KLX 140. So, I mean, pretty much any bike that you have a rear target strap, you can do those techniques on. Um, or maybe like a big bike or something, but it, it, it helps. Um, it's really easy on the Light B because it's 125 pounds. So, uh, but yeah, it just uh, you know it makes it so like if, if you have to like move the bike or whatever, it, it makes it so you can do it more easily and you, so you don't hurt yourself. You're not like hunching over, or, you know, you might lose your balance or whatever. Like, cause being, doing this, you know, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to nudge it like that, you know, it, it, it puts more strain on your body, in my opinion. I guess if you're somebody shorter, maybe maybe this might not work as well. Uh, but for someone on my height, this works pretty good. All right, so I hope you guys, uh, I hope you guys learned something. Yeah. Uh, how to make a tugger strap and how to how to use it on your Sura Light Via. Those are some tricks uh, I learned, you know. And, uh, and uh, you know, I the the Suron Light Via uh, it lacks it lacks a handle. There's not a really good handle on this bike. Motorcycles, you know, they got handles here, handles here. You know, sometimes they got a handle right in the back. You know, um, 
the, the Sauron just doesn't have it, and it's really low too, so, uh, especially with a Supermoto set, <laughs> it's, it's much lower, so, um, the, uh, the twist, the, the three, uh, the, the rotating technique I showed you on the side stand, it probably, it might be a little bit harder, it might be a little bit harder with, uh, with the dirt wheels on here. Right here, I got, I got the Supermoto set up right now, so the bike is like two or three inches lower than the dirt set up, but, but I'm sure you can do it either way. You just probably just got to lean the bike more. Um, Alright, so I hope you guys learned something. <laughs> Here's me out.